Hey. Hey. Hello and good morning, you three. How are you doing today? Doing great. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to be open and honest here. I have experienced the movie, and I say experienced it. I was so <laughs> close to this story. I cried. I, I'm a man, and I cried. <laughs> I love you. You're a beautiful man. Okay. So yeah. Wow. I mean, th- this, you know, there, I, I had a conversation with a friend recently. He says, the only way for movie theaters to get back to where they once were is that you've got to have an experience. And after watching this movie, I went, this is it. This is a date night movie. This is mom. We're going to go to the movie. This is, this is, hey, you want to go see a great movie? This is it. <laughs> it's like, that just, wow. Those are, are uh, fantastic words to hear. Thank so you. You do on the entire press campaign. You're the now man. we do. You <laughs> <laughs> well, Karen, Karen, the way that you wrote it, I mean, I mean, you have quotes in there from C.L. Lewis. I mean, it's, it's just it's just blows me away on how you can take a thought that C.L. put out there and, and you grow the story from there. Well, you know, it is a great theme, the idea that if you're going to love deeply, you're going to get hurt badly, but it's still worth it. And that really, you know, start to finish kind of sums it up that there's going to be pain in this life. There's going to be heartache. Um, you know, I'm a person of faith and, and, you know, that's God promised that you're going to have trouble in this yeah. world, but that's okay because he's overcoming and we can overcome it and we can find hope even in the darkest moments. Um, and that's really what we get from a love story. Like, uh, like someone like you, yeah. Jake, the, the way that grief is handled inside this, it's very tasteful and it's very warm and there's compassion. How did you deal with it on the set before it even got to us? You know, a beautiful thing as actors is you get to read some, you get to meet some really amazing people that have been through some amazing things and often some tragic things. And uh, so my, I think my job and my honor with this movie and this role was to play a guy who had been through a serious tragedy and losing, you know, his best friend and someone who he thought was going to be the love of his life. And I really just wanted to honor that. And I know Karen certainly honored it, you know, with her words, Throughout the movie, it is a love story. It is a beautiful experience of hope, but you know we don't shy away from from the realities of life and of pain in this movie. Sarah, without without doing a spoiler alert here, um, but but you have a confrontation with with who you thought were your parents, and and I want to know how many people are going to really go through this in their everyday world because this opens up a brand new conversation and exploration. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it does. You know, Andy, Andy gets hit with this news and all of a sudden her life just kind of flips upside down. And then she kind of tries to figure out how to handle it. And she goes through every emotion. She goes through every color you've got of emotion, right? She goes, she's angry in moments. She's upset. She's sad. She's grieving. She's, she's exploring, she's discovering these new relationships. But the beautiful thing that, that Karen, that Karen really brought to life is that no matter what, it all comes back full circle. And at the end of the day, it's it's really just about love, period, and family, period, and whatever that looks like. And she finds that now she's almost got these two incredible families involved in her life and that they both equally are so important and, and really, you know, are such a huge part of who she is. And so really, at the end of the day, it's all love. And that's the beauty of this story. Part of the big, big star in this movie are the scenes, are the, the the river, the every. And where was it filmed? Because there are many times I felt like I have been there. Yeah, you know, we filmed it. I live in Nashville, Tennessee, and so we filmed it here. I wanted to use local yep. crew and give them a chance to show what they could do. So, uh, and we just have talented filmmakers here. They're young, but they're excited and they're hungry. We also filmed the lake scenes um, and the glass house, that beautiful glass yes. house. Oh, my God. That people will see. You know, I mean, when this opens in theaters on April 2nd, people are going to be, just like you said, they're going to be drawn into the, just the experience of it. And that was Smith Lake in Alabama, so a few hours south of us. But it was worth the drive because nothing else could have uh, been Dawson Gage's house but that glass house. Did you use that glass house as a symbol? Tyler Russell, the director, he really wanted to use windows and mirrors a lot because we're such doing an exploration of how do I live my life without my this friend that I've had forever? Or how do I live my life knowing that my parents lied to me for my entire life? Like So getting that inside look at these hearts of these characters was you know, he used a lot of mirrors and a lot of uh, a lot of windows and a lot of glass. And it, it it's a beautiful thread throughout the entire movie that I think you need an artist to be able to understand it. But we all feel it. 
One of the things that really hit me very warm in my heart was when the, the line is, she will live on in each of us, because I do believe that. My, my, my parents may not be with me now, but they're more with me now than they've ever been. And when I heard that line, it was like, I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. She will always live on in each of us. Mm, yeah, I mean, that's that's the hope, right, that we get to carry, that we um, will we'll never, ever, ever be without that person. That person will always be a part of us and be in our like I, my dad, that's my dad for me. And my dad, you know, was my greatest fan as a writer when I was growing up. And I have to believe that today he has a window from heaven to yep. see that we opened our production company and we made our first movie. And we were so blessed to have Jake Allen and Sarah Fisher. And I think he's just cheering, you know, from heaven because he's still with me. Yeah. Jake, did, you're a writer. Does, does this inspire you to go deeper with your writing as well? Absolutely. Um, yeah, it was so, you know, I have to admit as, as a writer, when I'm on set as an actor, I can't help but be kind of like secretly taking notes on my own about, you know, how they're doing something or why a scene works. And I think the the beauty of Karen is she doesn't shy away from love and beauty and hope, and she doesn't shy away from pain and tragedy. And it's really hard to have both in a film. And they just, she just nailed it. Yeah. Sarah, what did you learn from this journey? Because, I mean, we're talking about Karen, who wrote this and she brought this movie forward and it's going to be in theaters for a long time. And listeners need to understand that this is not a one time event. This is April 2nd on. And that's why they need to make a movie night out of it. But 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 I mean, what are you learning from this experience? Well, I think. I think the truth is, is if you believe in something so completely and if you if you're throwing everything you have, Karen threw everything, everything that she had into this. And if you surround yourself with good people who, who are full of so much love and excitement for you, then literally anything's possible. The world is your oyster. You can do absolutely anything, but it takes hard work, commitment. And it takes, again, surrounding yourself with with people who who share the same kind of passion as you and who are excited about the story that you're telling. You know, Karen, they say that some of the greatest storytellers of all time have been Mark, Luke, John, and even Paul. I, I honestly believe that you've got oh. the gift as well. Well, thank you so much. I always say, you know, I, I'm a person who loves Jesus and uh, when he wanted to tell you something straight, he would just tell you straight. But when he wanted to make a point, he might turn over a table. But when he wanted to touch your heart, he told a story. And that's what everyone is wanting. They're, everyone is hungry to be touched by a story, by the power of something they can experience. And so, you know, when this opens in theaters um, on April 2nd, like people are going to, I feel like they're going to be changed. I think people are going to have hope where they didn't have it before. And we've heard from early screenings, people coming out saying, I was healed yep. emotionally yep. watching someone like you and that's the hope of course right and you know if they go to someone like you dot movie our website there are actually free tickets people are donating tickets so that money won't be the reason you don't experience this hope we want everyone to see it oh that's you're, you're serving the community you're doing exactly what your church was, was you know taught you how to do it's it's not the four walls of a building it's community and that's exactly what you're doing that's exactly right. The church is not a building, 100%. You've got to be out there loving people, um, you know, and, and holding their hands and, and being available as we've gone around, done press tours. I've watched Jake and Sarah do the same thing. You know, we had a guy at one of our screenings the other day, and he was probably in his 40s, and he was crying so hard. Yep. Like, yep. he actually needed tissue. Like, he was, he was really, really, I mean, it was something really special had happened and Sarah just stepped forward and just gave him the biggest hug. You know, it's we want to love people with this movie. Wow. You got to come back to the show anytime in the future. Ah, we would love that. I would love it. I know we will have a great time. Excellent. Well, you guys be brilliant today and congratulations on a real movie experience. Thank, Thank you so, you much, so much. Thank you.